Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set system delay using the Smart Wizard for system delay. Now, the sub out groups on the Studio Live board, subs one through four, have outputs on the back of the board. Each of those output can be delayed by some number of milliseconds, and you can get to that on the system menu. Under page seven, you'll see that you can dial in a delay in milliseconds all the way up to, looks like, 300 milliseconds. So the purpose of this is that if you have, you have fill speakers that are back some distance into the audience, you can use this delay to time align those back speakers to the front speakers. And if you don't time align them, you could even hear a little bit of an echo. If not an echo, some kind of comb filtering. So if you time align it, you can really flatten out the response of the whole system. That's why it's called system delay. This is really commonly used in big installs but because it's built into the board, there's really no added cost other than you need a microphone. You can use this even in the smallest venue. And I'm going to demonstrate that because I've got my main speaker and my fill speaker really quite close together. They're maybe 10 feet apart or something like that for this demo. You could dial it in by hand right here. You could walk off or measure the distance. But if you use a microphone, the reference microphone, then you can do this automatically. It only takes a couple seconds. Now, the microphone that you need is this PRM1. This is the box for it. I've got it hooked up here in the room. It's a PRM1 reference microphone, and this is a fairly low-cost item. I think it's $99. You can get fancier reference microphones that will also work, but this works perfectly fine for using the Smart Wizards built into the board. Now, you connect that to the TalkBack microphone input. Now, so let's go into the Smart Wizard over on VSL. So we'll go into this. I'll click Proceed. Smart takes over the board. I'll click on the System Delay tab, and you can see the instructions are right here. Connect the microphone, so it says put the trim right near the 12 o'clock position. If you look at the back of my board, you'll see I've done that. There's already a delay dialed in on Sub 1. If I go over here on the board and turn this, you'll see that it, it actually changes in real time here, even in the Smart Wizard. We're going to set this automatically. So I can hit Reset here. This is optional, but if you want to clear it all out to zero, you can hit Reset. And then what we're going to do is take sub one, and that's going to be our delayed speaker. It's back in the audience a little bit, and we're going to line that to the main left speaker. You can choose left, main, or right, whichever you want, but I'm going to choose left in this particular case, and I'll click OK. Now it says place your RTA mic on axis in front of the delay system. RTA means real-time analysis mic, and basically you want to point it at it in a convenient location. Now you don't have to be right on the grill of that speaker because it's going to measure the difference between the two speakers. So it doesn't, it doesn't have to be precisely positioned. It's just you need to have it pointed at that speaker. And then you click OK. Now on this next screen, it's going to start the pink noise generator. So we're going to turn this up till we hit pink noise, click analyze, and it will analyze our main speaker, the main left speaker. So we'll do that one. Then in the next step, we'll analyze the delayed speaker. Then the system will calculate the difference between the two. And there you go, 8.96 milliseconds. It did that all automatically. I did have to click Analyze twice, one for the main and then one for the fill speaker. You can see they're pretty close together, but at least it's eight milliseconds different. To finish this, we just click Apply, and it copies it into that delay for that sub one. And really, that is the whole thing. When we're finished with that, we can click Exit, and we've set that. If you have additional delays or successive speakers on the way back, you can assign your subs. Now, for this to actually work, you will need to mix with your routing to your main and to your sub. So that's how you use the Smart Wizard to set the system delay on the Studio Live AI series boards. Thanks for watching.